What up, flockers? In this video, I'm gonna be going over the best pet parrots you can get if you're a really busy person. So if you're a busy person who's home all day because you got school or work, this is the video for you. So let me go and preface this video first by just clarifying something. If you are really concerned that you are a super busy person, that parrots might be too much, if you want a very relaxed animal that you don't have to handle that much, dogs and cats are probably better for you because they are domesticated. Parrots, regardless of the parrots on this list, will require a lot more time than your average pet. So if you're really unsure about this, you really should do a lot more research. But now going back to this video is if you are a busy person, but you are able to still make at least the minimum amount of time required to keep a parrot a good pet, then this is the video for you. So with that, let's go ahead and get started. So first up, I recommend our pianist parrots. Now this is sort of my bronze winged pianist. Pianists are really great birds because they're kind of a loyal lap dog and they're somewhat independent. They're really relaxed, chill, low energy birds, and they don't need as much interaction as some more hyper birds. And when you're finally home from a long day of work, Pinus are great because they don't need that much high quality attention. They're honestly just fine being around you and that's actually enough attention for these birds. They really just need to chill with you in your home. So because of that, these make great low maintenance parrots that really don't need a huge amount of time out of your day specifically required towards playing and interacting with them. Honestly, just come home, plop one of these on your shoulder and sit down and watch TV or play some games on your computer and that's really all this bird needs. Very relaxed, very low maintenance, and really great for busy people. Next up is a bird pretty similar to Pinus, and those are Poicephalus parrots. Now, Poicephalus is a whole class of birds that range from things like Senegals, Myers parrots, Rupel parrots, and more. And overall, they kind of have a somewhat similar personality to Pinus birds. Granted, they're a little bit more individualistic, but overall, very similar and very just chill, relax birds and all you really need with poicephalus parrots is that when you get home just let them chill with you keep their cage in the center of your home in the living room so they're just kind of part of the family and the busyness around the home and then just let them chill on your shoulder hold them play with them and just do what you gotta do during the day when you get home and just to relax Poicephalus parrots also do not need a crazy amount of tension where you just gotta be manhandling the bird all the time, which makes them really great low maintenance parrots. And just to give you an example of what I mean when I say a high maintenance bird is a bird like a kite. If you're a busy person, you probably shouldn't be getting one of these birds because these birds, as you can see, just have so much energy and you just have to play with them. You got to give them this one-on-one -on -one attention for hours. Otherwise, these birds can turn out to be really mean, they can be aggressive, and they just don't become good pets. That's why if you're a busy person and you're looking for a pet that is more likely to stay tame with you its entire life, even when you just don't have high quality time to devote to it, that's why you don't want to get a bird like this. You'd rather get something like parrots on this list. So with that, let's go on to the next bird. And next up on this list is going to be Eclectus parrots. Now, Eclectus parrots Parrots are really popular birds because they're really, really cool show birds. I mean, just look at how colorful these birds are. Oh my gosh. I mean, you got this beautiful red, you got the amazing vibrant green on these birds. I mean, they are some really beautiful birds. And what else is great about them is they're really, really chill, even more so than like Pinus and Poicephalus parrots. They kind of just sit there and watch the world slowly decay towards its inevitable doom. And that's great if you are a busy person because this bird is just gonna chill out all day and just watch you. And then when you're finally home from work, you just bring them out and they just kind of chill with you. Now, yes, some may have a little more energy, but overall, like, Eclectus parrots tend to be very relaxed, easygoing birds. They don't really like being touched. They don't really like being manhandled. They just kind of want to just 
relax and chill and just kind of vibe with you. That's just what makes them really great birds for busy people. Now granted there is a catch because Eclectus parrots are a little more higher maintenance when it comes to taking care of them because they have a very different digestive tract so you're going to want to put them on a predominantly fruit diet. So they're just going to be messier birds in general to own. So while they're definitely higher maintenance in terms of like care and upkeep, when it comes to time, they're pretty easy to handle. Now next up are going to be cockatiels. Now cockatiels like Choco here are really, really great beginner birds and for good reason. I mean, a lot of people end up getting cockatiels as their first bird and they end up sticking with them as lifelong friends for the entire lifespan of a cockatiel. And the fact is, is they're just very, very easy to take care of. They're decently hardy because they come from Australia and when it comes to attention, they don't need a crazy amount of it. With the cockatiel, as long as you have enough entertainment in the cage, they do a good job entertaining themselves. And then even when you let them out of the cage when you get home, they're kind of more cat-like in personality in my opinion. So they kind of just come out, they'll chill with you and kind of do their own thing. They're not really touchy grabby birds that need this high quality attention. They overall will just kind of hang out with you, chill on the couch with you, hang out on your shoulder. You might like play with them and give them a scritch when you develop that really good bond with them. But overall, they're pretty relaxed, very easy birds to take care of. And especially on this list, they're the cheapest parrot you can get, which is a really great plus if you're looking to get a parrot and you don't want to break the bank. So with that, cockatiels I think make one of the best parrots you can get on this list. Now last up on this list is going to be green cheek conures. Now this is Utah my green cheek conure and these little birds are absolutely so cute and super low maintenance. Now I will say on this list green cheek conures are probably the highest maintenance out of everything here. They definitely will need just a little bit more time than the other birds if you want to keep them tame. But overall they're definitely not super demanding. They just need a little bit more high quality attention. These birds do want to be a little more handled. So as you can see even Utah here just wants to be cuddled. They like to be held. They do like to be played with. But compared to some other birds like Conyers, Lories, Kaiks, and other more small parrots, other parrots generally need a lot more time, high quality time spent to play and spend all that energy that they have. With green cheek Conyers, they tend to be a little bit more relaxed and not have as much energy as others. And on top of that, for green cheek Conyers, they tend to be a little bit more on the cuddly end. So it's just very easy to just hold them and cuddle with them. And that's kind of enough handling that they really need. So if you do get home and you're really exhausted, well these birds are really great because you can just sit down on the couch and just cuddle with one while you're, you know, doing whatever it is you got to do. And if not, they just like chilling on your shoulder and that's also enough attention for them a lot of times. So overall, they're still decently low maintenance compared to some other parrots, making them pretty easy to keep tame and very friendly, even if you're a somewhat busy person. And that's also why green cheek conyers are my number one recommendation when it comes to a beginner bird, if you just have a little bit more time. And with that, thank you guys so much for watching. See you next time.